Hey folks, Stacy Jones here with the Basin Late Night Video Log. I want to talk some Dallas Cowboy football. But first, let's recap what happened last week. We have a new president-elect, Donald J. Trump. I've seen a lot of young people in big cities protesting the election, starting riots. You know half the people that have been arrested didn't even vote? <laughs> you reckon if these people had jobs, they'd have time to protest? Probably not. See, when they don't have a job, they can protest, start a riot, then they can break into stores and steal new tennis shoes and TVs. However, I don't think they're still in any work boots. You see, Mr. Trump's going to create more jobs so they can work and earn those tennis shoes and TVs. But that probably doesn't appeal to them. So now that we know who they are, who cares about what they have to say? Now, on to something much more entertaining, Dallas Cowboy football, and specifically the quarterback position. Dak Prescott, this kid has played really well. Such poise, such calmness in the face of adversity. He's made rookie errors, but each game he overcomes them. Right now, the Cowboys are eight and one, with eight straight wins. This is tied for a club record. As a fan, I couldn't be happier. That said, I'm old school. I don't think a man should lose his job due to injury, more especially a man that's left it all on the field in the last 10 years. Well, that's what's happened. The man is Tony Romo. I know Dak has learned a lot from Tony, but maybe the best thing he can learn from Tony Romo is how to be a first-class man. Romo said in his press conference, I've got Dax back. Now, I don't think it can be any classier than that. As a fan, I'm going to say thank you to Mr. Romo for everything you've been on and off the field. Until next time, I'm Stacy Jones with Basin Knights. How about them Cowboys?